What's up with you? All right. One of the one of the young dudes I be talking to, man. He say he talked to one of the old heads that um that he be talking to. Old heads. He, I, I guess I'm not considered an old head, but he talked to one of them, and they told him that he's not a man if he moves in with a woman. And he wanted to know my opinion on that. And so I said, all right. All right, you ready? Here it go. But um, how I feel about that is I don't, I don't really, okay. Can you, can you move in with a woman, still be considered a man? Absolutely. I don't think that one action by moving in with a female can, can disqualify you from being a man. And and let, let let me say it. Let me let me put it to you like this. Like I lived alone in, in one of my relationships. I lived alone. She lived alone. My lease ended in February. Hers ended in May. So I moved in with her right before my lease ended and lived with her for a few months. And then when her lease ended, we moved from that apartment and found a place together. So within those three months, I wasn't a man because I moved in with her. See, that that that's what I got a problem with because that, that one at like moving in with somebody that has nothing to do with manhood. That shit is ridiculous. To me is how you carry yourself, how you treat others. If you're taking care of your responsibilities. So you're trying to tell me if I go to work every, every day, I work 40 to 60 hours a week. I take care of my kids and my off time. I uh, go to the soup kitchen and help serve food. I donate to the homeless I do everything right on the straight and narrow. I I ain't got a record. I ain't never been to jail. I ain't out here breaking laws. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm doing it. I I go to church on Sunday. I can do all this. I can be a good person, helping people, just spreading joy throughout the world. But if I move in with a woman, I ain't a man. That got to be the story stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. Excuse my language. But that gotta be the stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. That's the that that's almost like a a lazy a, a lazy answer. And I think if the old head would have went into a detail with it, he probably would have told him exactly what I'm what I'm telling him. What what I what it well what I told him. Just it's better to stand on your own and be able to maintain on your own because I've seen, and I'm, I'm going to be real now. Um, I don't live with people in the past and sometimes people change when they know that they can kick your ass out at any moment. And it ain't shit you can do about it. They change. Have y'all ever seen somebody to where, like one person is in a higher position, either financially, it could be, it could be, it could be, like I say, it could be like financially, it could be somebody in, in, in school, it could be anybody, like if somebody in, in a higher position and they know that the person kind of beneath them needs them, that, that's the key word, needs them, like if I don't help this person, this person has nowhere else to turn. So they need me. Have you seen how people act sometimes? Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, they they, 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 they get the big head. They stick the chest out a little more. Oh, like, like, like they looking down on that person. Oh, motherfucker, you need me. You better watch your mouth. If, if, if you want me to take you to work tomorrow, you better watch how you're talking to me. 
If you want me to loan you that money so you can pay your rent, you better watch your guy. You better watch your damn mouth. Yeah, I said mouth, not mouth. I said mouth, M O M O U F, mouth. You better watch your damn mouth. You better watch how you're talking to me. Oh, man, people give you their ass to kiss when they know you need them. And I hate that shit. But that ain't everybody. That's just some individuals. Some individuals act like that. And like I said, I've been in a situation like that to where I've, I've needed a person. And then they act totally different when you need their ass. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. They act totally different when they know you need them. Oh, man, they the baddest motherfucker on the planet. Oh, they got the most confidence. Oh, they talk the most shit. Oh, them some bad motherfuckers right there. When they know you need them. Now, get on your get on your purpose. Get on the good foot. Stand on your own. Come up. Get your own shit. And all of a sudden, oh, you don't need to borrow no money from me no more? Oh, you got your own money? Okay. Need to use my credit card? Oh, you got three credit cards. Need a ride to work? Oh, you got you got two cars now? Oh, you need a place to stay for the weekend? No. Oh, you got your own place? Oh, shit. I'm no longer needed. Huh. Look at this. How about that? Now they ain't got shit to say. Now they're a totally different person. Before they was an asshole. Unbearable. Giving you their ass to kiss. Motherfucker had a whole bunch of shit to say. Whole bunch of shit to talk. And now this motherfucker quiet as a mouse. Because you done came up and now you're doing what you do and you're staying true to it, pimpin'. So this is what I'm saying. So it's best. It is best to have your own shit and not need nobody, not depend on nobody. That's why I work so hard so I don't have to call anybody for anything because I hate the way people act when you ask them for something. It's like y'all can be cool. Y'all are best friends. Y'all cool. Everything cool. But then you say, can I borrow a hundred dollars to Friday. Oh, the whole mood change. Like, mm, oh man, I don't know if I can do that. Oh my, oh my goodness, bro. I got to check on this and check on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And so everything changed. Everything changed, man. The whole attitude. And you really get to see people true colors once you ask them for something. And I used to do that back. I, I used to do that back in the day, man. I used to ask people for something and I don't even need it. I don't even need it. I just want them to show me their true colors. I want them to show me who they're going to become if I really do fall on hard times and need them. Who are you really? Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself, pimpin'. I need to see who you really are. So I might ask you to borrow $100 to, 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 to Friday till I get paid. Just to see how you act. I may ask you for something like, mm, I may say, can I borrow $400? My car acting up. Can I borrow $400 to Friday? See how they rag it. Ooh, God. Oh, 400. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. People are tell, people show their true colors, man. They show their true colors. I might not even need that 400 man. I may have thousands of dollars in my bank account. But I just want to see who you really are. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to determine how I move forward dealing with you. If you, if you like, if I ask you for a hundred dollars a Friday and you say, all right, cool. Can I cash app it to you? Or can you come over here and get it? Come on, get it. Ain't no problem, man. I got you like that. Oh yeah. I know I got a real one. I know I got a real one, but if you, if you got it, cause I know you got it. This is what I'm saying. You got to fill people out now. I ain't saying count people pockets. That ain't what I'm saying. I ain't saying count their pockets, but you know, if y'all, you, you, you can kind of, get a general sense of what a person got once you hang around them long enough. You ain't got, like I said, you ain't got to count, count their pockets and uh, hopefully they ain't counting your pockets, but you can get an idea. So, you know, if they got $50, $20, $30. And if they are willing to help you in your time of need, that's what you're really trying to determine. If they are willing to help you in your time of need, if they really got your back, 
if they really, you know, if they really say, if they really are who they say they are. Because if you're a real one, like myself, you know what you are. Like, I know what I am, and I know what I am not. So I, I ain't finna sit here and tell you that I'm one thing, that I, that, that, that I don't cuss, that if a person came up and smacked me upside the head, I'm gonna say, sir, why'd you smack me upside the head? I would like to discuss that smack. My head is it. My my head is throbbing. I I, I want to know why you felt the need to smack me upside the head. Let's discuss it. Let's talk about it. You know what? Let's hug it out. No, 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 no. I know good. I know good and damn well if somebody smacked me upside my head, I'm gonna put my foot in their ass. It's just that simple. Ain't gonna be no really no 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 discussion about it. I'm just going, I'm just going to mash the gas and put my foot, man, put my foot in the ass, man. So, um, I know I go from zero to a hundred real quick, but I know me and I'm a, I, everybody that know me know how I am. So, and they know I ain't going to really tell them that I'm one way, one of them another way. So that's what you're trying to determine when you, um, when you, that's what you're really trying to figure out when you, um, dealing with people. Who got your back? Who 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 faking it, man? And so, um, but like I say, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to that um, subject. Standing on your own. This all goes back to standing on your own, and basically developing. Just just learning how to depend on yourself. Build your bank account up. Save your money penny by penny. If that means you can't go on a few dates. Uh, that mean you can't date for a few months. Just sit your ass at home and don't date for a few months. If that mean you can't buy no uh new Jordans or new clothes or nothing, well, don't buy no new clothes or no new shoes. Just sit your ass at home and chill out. And uh, find something to do with yourself. Get on your purpose. You can work out. You ain't got to join a gym to work out. You can actually work out at home. You can do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks. You don't need a treadmill. You can run in place. You can actually run in place. No equipment needed. You can run in place. You can in, you can run in a uh, place. Increase your speed. Decrease your speed. Shit, if you're tripping, fall. Ain't nobody there to see. You're there by yourself, and you and, and so, you know, you can actually get in shape at home by your damn self. And then I mean, so that's what I'm saying, man. So I I would say just learn how to. Learn how to develop that mindset of I got me. Like I got me because at the end of the day, sometimes that's all you have is you. Sometimes you can't depend on nobody. You can call 10 people and 10 people will turn their back on you. All 10 of them kind of let you down. I wouldn't say let you down. I wouldn't even say let you down because it ain't their responsibility to pay your car payment. It ain't their car payment. It's your car payment. And it ain't they light bill, it's your light bill. So that it, it's your uh, rent, your mortgage. It's, these are your bills. You are responsible for them. So as long as you kind of, if you look at it like that, man, you look at it like these are your responsibilities. I need to take care of this. So when I'm tired, when I'm sleeping, when I stayed up too late, and I don't feel like going to work. I need to get my black ass up and take my ass to work. For real, man, you need to get your stinking ass up and go to work. I mean, sometimes you just got to uh, get up and do what you got to do to build yourself up and make sure you save up your money so you can have your own back. The best feeling in the world, man, is not needing nobody for shit. <clears throat> not needing nobody for shit. I mean, if you can get, if you can purchase a car and you ain't got a car payment, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, I done had car payments, shit, damn, near my whole life. But my last three cars, I done bought flat out. And I'm going to tell you, man, it's, it's a difference, man. It's a difference. Like paying somebody every single month, month after month after month, year after year. Maybe maybe it's only $250, 350 400 Shit, I seen a man. I talked to this one dude. This dude got a eight hundred and fifty dollar car payment, but that's a that's a story for another day. He do got a Beamer though. That's a Beamer, but it's eight hundred and fifty dollar car payment. I can't believe that, but hey, 
like I said, I don't, I don't bash nobody. You do what works for you. You do what works for you. I, I'm, what works for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me. So that's what I'm saying. Find what you're comfortable with and do what fits you. That's all I'm saying. It's all about you. <clears throat> you got to put, turn the focus on you, man, and make sure you're taken care of, making sure your bill's paid. And like I say, it's best just to save your money and do what you need to do so you don't need nobody. Like I say, the best feeling in the world, man, is being able to stand on your own and pay all your bills, every one of them, and still have a lot of money left over every week, every month. Say so you get paid every two weeks, every two weeks you got a lot of money left over. You need to you need to get you need to get to the point to where you getting paid and when you get paid <clears throat> you actually got more money in your bank account or in your shoebox or in your pocket. Wherever you want to keep your money, man, it's up to you. Like I say, it's it's all it's all each individual's choice. So do what you do and stay true to it. But wherever you want to keep your money, man. So when you get paid, you got more money in your bank account than your paycheck. If you can get to that point to where basically you don't, I ain't going to say you don't need that paycheck, but you're getting paid and you're, like, you're not waiting on it. You're not flat broke when you get paid. That's what you want. That's what you want. You want to get to a point to where you got more money than your actual paycheck. Just say your paycheck uh eight hundred dollars, and no let let's up it a little bit. Say your paycheck is a thousand dollars, uh every two weeks you make a thousand dollars every two weeks, and then you get a thousand dollar paycheck. And you look in your bank account and you got twelve hundred, so now you got twenty two hundred, and then you just keep building like that. I'm saying pay all your bills and just save your money, cut out some shit. Cut out some shit. Now, when you cut out some shit, you don't have to cut out this shit forever. You ain't got to cut it out forever. But just for, like, put together a plan, man, and execute the plan. I mean, I sit down with people all the time and do do numbers with them, and I put together a plan, and hope and hopefully they execute it. A lot of times, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But it's, it's, it's up to them. I can only give you the plan. It's up to you to execute the plan. So I can put it on paper. And say, this is what you do step by step. One, two, three, four, five. It's up to you. I'm not going to be at your house. I'm not going to be with you. I'm not going to be babysitting you and telling you don't do this and don't do that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's up to you, Pimpin'. So I can put it on paper and hand it to you and you just follow the plan. It's up to you to execute the plan. I can develop the plan, but it's up to you to execute it. You have to do something. And so that's all I'm saying. So once you kind of get get to that point to to where you just um cutting out some stuff and once you realize that you can cut out stuff, I say 3, I say about 3 to 6. Yeah, 3 to 6 months. I say 3 to 6 months, man. Just kind of being to yourself working. If you just work your regular hours or you work overtime, cut out like some of the stuff. Look at Write down some shit. I, I I I tell people, man, they be looking at all the papers I be having. They be like, what's all the papers? I be writing down shit. That's how you can, like, visual. I'm a visual person, so if I can see something, I can react to it and I can execute. I can put together a plan and maneuver around that and put together a plan, a success plan, based on what I'm seeing on paper. So I know what I was spending my money on. Like if I write down what I'm spending day by day by day by day and I look back at it, I'm like, damn, I spent a lot of money on chicken wings. Damn. Oh, that shit, all them wings and things. I mean, I eat so many, I spend a lot of money on chicken wings. And and I would see that and I'm like, oh shit, I got to cut down on my chicken wing consumption. I, I, I can't consume so many chicken wings. It's getting very expensive. But I love chicken. So what I what, what 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 can I do about this? So, you know, I had to sit back and you know make some adjustments, make some make some adjustments, make some cutbacks, and so just there you go. Did it for like five or six months, lost some weight, eating a little better, saving some money, and so now, I, it, it's almost like 
getting back to the to to what the what I say when you need people, how they act and they so used to you coming to them for help. It's almost like they'll call you, hey, how everything going, bro? I ain't heard from you in a while. It's because they so used to you being dependent on them. They so used to giving you their ass to kiss. No, no, no. You don't need to kiss their ass. You ain't got to be nice to them motherfuckers no more. It, it, they, they, they created that dynamic. If they would have kept it normal, then you wouldn't have felt like you were kissing their ass. But they kind of changed, felt like they had a little power. And now they start acting like an asshole. So then you start acting a certain way. And so then, so now it's almost like when you get on your feet, you almost kind of, you don't really fuck with them no more. I'm going to be real with you. You don't really fuck with them no more like that because they really showed you who they are. And so it's something about it. It's something, it's something about revealing yourself. It's almost like, um, it, I'm glad you revealed yourself. I'm glad you showed me who you were. So now I know I can't really fuck with you like that. So now that you done got on your feet, They'll call you. Y'all might talk, but it ain't going to be the same. I'd be lying out my ass if I told you, oh, it's going to be the same as it was before. Hell no, it ain't going to be the same because the motherfucker done showed you what the, what, what, what the fuck they really are, which is a bitch. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I ain't even going get to get all into that. So um, you, you be, be grateful that they help you out at that time, but you don't need them no more. Because you're standing on your own. And then once you get that feeling of accomplishment, man, like I can do this shit by myself, can't nothing stop you. You're on your way then. You're on your way then, but you got to start it. You got to start it somewhere. And like I said, I could I I could I show you how to start your shit from the bottom. I mean from the bottom. I mean when you have to take your shit to the pawn shop. When you have to take a TV to the pawn shop or an Xbox or a PS4 to the pawn shop. That's what I'm talking about. That's 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 where you need to start, because you don't start. I see a lot of people. Um, I, I I talked to one guy. He helping people with the finance, and then he was starting, but he's starting from a starting point to where a lot of people don't have it. Like a lot of people ain't starting with a thousand dollars. A lot of people ain't starting with five hundred dollars. No, 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 no. You need to teach a motherfucker how to start with thirty two dollars. Teach a teach a motherfucker how to start with fourteen dollars. That's what I'm talking about. Teach them how to start from the bottom. That's what I'm talking about. I can teach how to start from the bottom because that's where I came from, that level. And so you build, once you go from $14 to $1,400, man, you, man you'll lose your damn mind. You'll be, you, you'll be so proud of your damn self. You won't even be, man, you won't, you won't be able to stop smiling. You you you'll look in the mirror. You'll say, "Man, you's a bad motherfucker." You be talking to yourself. You know, you ain't gonna be talking to me. But I'm saying you really believe in yourself, man, and you really start to you really start to see that you can do this thing. You can do this thing. You are disciplined enough to stand on your own and do this thing. You don't need to borrow no thirty dollars from this person, forty dollars, fifty dollars, and now you got that fourteen hundred. Now you're on your way. Don't get me wrong. You just, you, you start now. You're on your way. You got a long way to go, but you're on your way. You remembering when you had $14, when you had $30, $40 and this and that. And so you kind of just don't, you never want to go back there. You never want to go back there. And so you look at what you did to get there and you just keep doing that. You could just keep doing that, man. And you look, you look at the situation. You'd be like, damn, I didn't even have to change jobs or anything. I kept the same job. I worked the same hours. Basically, I just stopped spending money on X, Y, and Z. I made some choices to cut this out of my life. Maybe it's dating. Maybe it's clothes. Maybe it's getting, maybe you got your uh, cable cut off for a few months. Maybe it's something. Maybe you downgraded your uh, phone. Maybe your phone bill was... Two hundred and fifty dollars a month, and you downgraded that shit to sixty dollars a month. And maybe, maybe, maybe it's something. But I'm saying you made the choices, the necessary choices, in your life to improve your life. That's what I'm saying, and that's a good thing. You always want to be improving and moving forward, man, and, and 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 trying to get to the next level. And so that that's that's all I'm here to say, man. So I know I kind of got off topic for a minute, and um, saying you answering that question like are you less of a man because you living with a woman no that don't mean shit man 
You just living with a as long as you can stand on your own two feet and y'all got to understand that she ain't disrespecting you. You ain't disrespecting her. She ain't giving you her ass to kiss because all women, once you move in, in, in the house with them, all women are not going to treat you like that. All women are not going to like look down on you and take advantage of you and give you her ass to kiss. And and threaten to throw your ass out because they know you ain't got nowhere else to go. All women are not gonna do that. I don't know where y'all got this. Get get these ideas like women are these evil creatures that they just out to destroy us. No, that ain't the case. All women ain't gonna treat you like that. Some women will. Some shit. Some men will treat you like that. If you if if, if some men they got the upper hand on you, man, and they feel like you ain't got no family members to go to, nobody to talk to, nowhere else to turn. They'll treat you like that. And hey, you're doing shit you don't want to do. So, I mean, people are just people. That's why I say you can't just classify all people as that, man. And that's why you can't just say a man, uh, you're not a real man if you move in to an, uh, if you move in with a woman. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. But anyway, man, I ain't going to, I done took up enough of your time, man. Um, I'm going to end this video. Uh, Like, comment subscribe later